Last year, we made a video on the channel looking at the hullabaloo around meat, the battle between meat and veg, yeah, yeah, <laughs> where protein can come from, and we finished the video by challenging people to halve their meat consumption. <gasps> Something which is easier said than done, considering that meat is such a massive part of the nation's diet. So why are we talking about meat in the first place? In Britain, we eat, on average, 84.2 kilograms of meat per person per year, which is quite a lot. And already, global meat and dairy production is set to double by 2050 because of a growing population. To put that into context, it already produces about 14% of the world's global emissions, which is a massive amount. As well as that, there are increasing concerns about the risks that eating too much meat can have on your health, with links to things like diabetes and heart disease. <laughs> One of the big myths that meat is wrapped up in is protein. Despite us already eating twice the recommended amount of protein in our diets, a protein fever has exploded in recent years. Everything from pancake mix to Snickers bars are being fortified with protein to appeal to muscle-hungry gym users. And while there are loads of ways of getting protein into your diet, in a piece of research that we did last year, we found that most people thought the best source of protein was meat. This is especially true with men, and we know this because we spent loads of time interviewing people last year about what they eat and why they eat it, and men are generally less willing to reduce their meat consumption than women. Also, more men than women agree that meat provides a unique nutrient that no other food can, and that it's better for helping muscle growth. And while this is what a lot of people think, it isn't necessarily true. So to get to the bottom of it, we have gone to meet a vegan personal trainer called Adam to find out what he eats to stay muscly. Maybe I'm gonna get, I'll be super buff in six months. Yeah. Watch this face. Or in the next 10 minutes. In the, could you make me buff in the next 10 minutes? I'm good, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you do? Yes, bicep curl, yeah. There we go, let's do that. Guns, good guns. <laughs> yeah. Hello, we are in a gym, as you can tell. We're in the Lomax Studios in Cocoon with Adam, who is a personal trainer. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do? My name's Adam Stansbury, I'm the Plant Powered PT and I specialise in getting men and women fit, strong and healthy on a plant-based diet. Plant-based means no meat, fish or dairy. Yeah, exactly. A diet that's predominantly plant-based, well it's, it's fully plant-based, vegan plant-based diet. It's a better word than the vegan word I think for a lot of people than that vegan label that just tends to turn a lot of people away. It's a kind of less offensive terminology <laughs> I think, so new age. New age. <laughs> yeah. Can you get the same amount of protein that you need with that kind of diet? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a it's a myth that you can't get protein from plants because protein is essentially made from amino acids. Now, those those amino acids can all be found in plants because essentially the animals that are being eaten are eating their amino acids from plants. <laughs> and I think again, this is a misconception, a myth that. that, that that we kind of need to lift the lid off. Yeah, you need a lot less than, than we think we need and I think it's become one of these fashionable marketing terms that helps to sell products because people are now relating to the term protein with muscle, with a good looking body and fitness and stuff like that. And so I think it's really important. One of the things I'm trying to do now is get people to stop looking at protein equals meat or meat equals muscle and plants equal weeds because it's just not true. What are the main things in your diet that you use as a source of protein that people could use at home if they wanted to switch to a more plant-based diet? Yes, I mean, pro I mean, there's protein in pretty much everything. So that comes from, you know, beans and legumes are great sources, grains and soy, soy products in general. And like I said, the, the hemp proteins, the pea proteins and the, and the rice protein powders. If you stuff. want to have like a shake after your workout. You can get these great lentil pasta sheets now and they're high in protein as well. You can also get really high protein pasta these days made from black beans so you know a really good meal rice and beans super cheap the thing is I always say to people it's all about progress not perfection and it's important to lean into this rather than to try and be a, like a perfect vegan overnight and I think that's where the anxiety for a lot of people come in it's really important just to take it a small steps at a time try and step away from this I need to I need to get to my destination tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's like, just think of this as a kind of a, a longer process of, of evolution. And, and to start focusing just on a day, you know, have one day a week, like a meat-free Monday, and then the following week, maybe add an extra day in. You know, and over time, you just build that up, and you just find that as you naturally feel better, 
mm -hmm. um, as you naturally just become more creative and confident in creating meals, you just start wanting to adopt more food into your diet and having more days like that. So it just becomes a very natural sort of process. Being part of the fitness industry, which is everyone believes that you know protein comes from meat and muscle made from meat and plants are weeds and stuff. So that's the myth that I'm trying to dispel. And there's a lot of vegan athletes now, especially high performance athletes who are adopting the diet because it's so, so much better for um, recovery. There are so, I will link to them all in the description because there are so many mm. doing amazing things. You can still be buff and eat plants. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. <laughs> yeah. While people like Adam are helping to change the preconception that meat and masculinity go hand in hand, subverting the social norm can still be a tricky sell. Some men even claim that they would rather give up sex than meat in a poll that was done by Pepper Army. And as one of our interviewees said, nobody wants to be the guy in the pub who's ordering a veggie burger. That's why a new Hubbub pilot is setting out to try and help people reducing their meat consumption and embrace the plant-based protein power. Over the next few months, we're gonna be challenging 20 male colleagues from the nationwide head office in Swindon to meet their match by replacing half of their animal-based protein, which is meat and dairy, with plant-based protein. They're all going to be given a wearable fitness tracker so that we can see how fit they're staying and they're all going to have a meeting with a nutritional practitioner as well as being given a specialised meal plan to see how easy it really is to reduce meat from your diet. The Meet Your Match trial is a two-month journey for the guys taking part so tune into the channel later in the year. Would you take part in a challenge to halve your meat consumption? If you think you would then why not use this chance to ask Adam about any of their tips, tricks or advice for reducing your meat consumption and staying healthy. It's never been easier to reduce the amount of meat in your diets because at the moment restaurants are offering loads of different options and big supermarkets are launching vegan ranges. If you want to try and reduce the amount of meat in your diet then check out the description where there's loads of amazing recipes. On the channel we're investigating ways that you can have less impact on the environment so if you like what we're doing then please subscribe and if you have any questions that you want answered or a topic that you want explored then let me know and we will see you in two weeks time.